Hello everyone, I'm Tina from Angel's Morning Call and today our guest is Lisa. Hi, this is Lisa. I'm so happy to see you. Thank you for inviting me today. <laughs> In Angel's Morning Call, we deliver to you the heavenly teachings of Master Ryuho Okawa. And today, let's imagine what it will be like when we die. Hmm. What do you think happens, Lisa? I don't know, but I wonder how I'm gonna feel when I die. Mm, me too. Mm. Well, today we will watch a bit of Master Kawa's lecture and hear a simulation of our future. And let's be brave now and learn about what we will all experience one day. Let's watch. There are some who leave their bodies swiftly the same day they die. But many others do not recognize that they have died. Usually, however, people do not easily recognize their own death. They remain inside their bodies for a while, continuing to feel ill as they did before dying. Consequently, the following can happen. When people hear others around them say that they are dead, they may think, what are they talking about? I'm still alive. Soon they hear their own death being announced and their families begin to cry. They may say, what are you crying? If you felt this way, I wish you could have shown these feelings before. However, people around them do not seem to hear what they say. They also feel strange because they cannot move their bodies. Later that day, many people come to awake and prepare for the funeral. At this point, if the dead have some knowledge of life after death, they could begin to think that they may have died but are not quite sure. If they have no knowledge of life after death, they still believe that they are alive and suspect everyone else has gone mad. When the wake of funeral begins, the dead may see their own picture or coffin on display and say, Come on, please stop this nonsense. Don't want to die yet. During this time, the soul repeatedly leaves and re enters the body. The dead remain in their own house for a while, sometimes floating toward the ceiling or roof. But they look down, get scared, and quickly return to their bodies. Human beings have a silver cord, a very fine thread that stretches from the back of the head, which connects the soul and the body. As long as it does not break, the soul can return to the body. If it is broken, the soul can never return to the original body. True death does not occur when the physical body stops functioning. This usually takes place about one day after physical death. Wow, did you like it? It was a very detailed description, wasn't it? What did you think, Lisa? Well, we can find the Master's lecture in this book, Spiritual World 101. Master said in the lecture on page 18, when the physical body dies, human beings do not disappear. The soul resides within the physical body, and when the physical body dies, the soul leaves the body and returns to the other world. Well, now I know that when I die, my soul leaves my physical body and go back to the other world, so I'm fine. But if I didn't know that, I think I'll be very scared and confused. I think I might panic at my own funeral. Yes, mm -hmm. it's really important to know what's mm -hmm. going to happen, don't you yeah. think? Mm. We also learned about the silver cord, which connects the body and the soul. And when the silver cord cuts off 24 hours after the heart stops beating, that is the true death of a person. The silver cord is also mentioned in the Bible, isn't it? Mm. Master explained it in the lecture like this. Let's take a look. 
on page 20, Human beings have a silver cord, a very fine thread that stretches from the back of the head which connects the soul and the body. As long as it does not break, the soul can return to the body. If it is broken, the soul can never return to the original body. People who have had uh, near-death experiences say that their souls could return to their body before the silver cord was cut off. Maybe a near-death experiences happens to teach people on earth that there is a soul and an afterlife. In fact, I experienced this when I was 10 years old. <laughs> I choked and I couldn't breathe and I lost consciousness. And then I remember the scene looking down at my body on the floor and surrounded by concerned, very concerned friends and family. And I was just standing nearby and I tried to calm them down saying, it's okay, it's okay. I <laughs> did? Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, and that's then I came back into my body. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, Master said this will happen when the silver cord connecting the soul and body is broken. And then we have to go back to the other world. But many people die believing that there's nothing after they die. They can't accept that they're dead and they will stay on earth without listening to the angels' directions. And many of them become lost spirit. Right. We don't want that to happen. Mm -mm. We're all going to die someday. But be confident that your guardian spirit or your loved ones who passed away before you will come to guide you to the other world as guiding spirits. When you die, you may still have some unresolved feelings um, or attachments, such as, I don't want to die yet, or I'm worried about my family, but that will obstruct your journey to the other world. Although it's, too, it's hard to say goodbye, we will see each other again in the heavenly world. So when I die, or your family, or your loved ones pass away, I think we should try not to be too sad, but to promise that we will see each other again in the heavenly world, and try not to have unresolved feelings. Mm, that seems really important. Mm. Well, today's lecture was found in Spiritual World 101. This book contains the secrets of the afterlife, <laughs> and the spiritual world and if you read this you will be prepared for the journey back home so please check it out so what do you think happens in the afterlife at the entrance of the spirit world i know there's a river sticks right maybe let's find out see you next time bye